Hi, my name is Caitlin Greenidge. I'm a writer and I'm the author of the upcoming novel Liberty, which will be published by Algonquin Books on March 31st in 2021. So um, Liberty is inspired by a couple of different things, but the biggest inspiration is a conversation that I had uh, with the soap opera actress, Ellen Hawley, about 10 years ago now. Um, I used to work for a black history museum called the Weeksville Heritage Center in Brooklyn, New York. And part of my job there was to do oral histories um, with descendants of this free black community that was founded in Brooklyn um, in the 19th century called Weeksville. So I was interviewing one of the des these descendants, Ellen Hawley. She later went on to be a um, very famous soap opera actress in the 60s and 70s. And she told me all about her family. Um, she told me about her mother, her great-great-grandmother, uh, Dr. Susan Smith McKinney Stewart, and her great-great-grandmother's daughter. Um, uh, and her great-great-grandmother had been a resident of Weeksville um, in the 1860s. Um, had been a, the first black female doctor in New York State, founded a hospital, um, was on the board of various organizations, was sort of a respectable uh, race woman of the 1860s and 70s, as they used to call them. Uh, and her daughter uh, married in the son of the Episcopal Archbishop of Haiti um, and moved to Haiti in um, the uh, late 1800s. Um, and according to their descendant who I interviewed, uh, the marriage in Haiti was very unhappy. And so the daughter wrote all these letters to her mother, the doctor, um, asking her to come to Haiti to come and get her. Uh, and this entered into their family lore. They still have the letters. Eventually what happened is, uh, the doctor figured out how to smuggle her daughter out of the country along with her two young children. They traveled back to New Jersey. They never returned to Haiti again. Uh, but Haiti remained in their family this place that symbolized so much. It symbolized uh, both this sort of failed marriage, uh, but also a place of incredible freedom. When I spoke to Ellen Holly, she talked about how her great-grandmother always spoke about uh, absolutely adoring and loving living in Haiti um, and loving uh, the uh, people there, the um, places where she lived, uh, and just having a really romanticized idea of the country. So all those things came together, and I, I sort of thought about that story for a long time, and I always knew that it sounded like it would make a really great novel. Um, and I started working on that novel a few years back, um, and a whole bunch of other things worked their way into, their, into that novel, as tends to happen. Um, things about motherhood, things about uh, black liberation, things about black nationalism, things about Haiti. Uh, things about uh, what healing means, um, things about um, what we owe to ourselves and our community, and most importantly, this question of what freedom means um, and how do we define freedom if we're not talking about freedom uh, defined as what you can do to other people or what you can get away with doing to other people, but um, freedom that's more concerned with self-determination. So um, that's Liberty. Uh, I hope that you check it out uh, and I hope that um, you uh, read it and enjoy it. Thanks.